Hi guys, for today I'm gonna report the most commonly used figures of speech in creative writing. So first is catafora. Catafora is the use of a pronoun or other linguistic unit to refer ahead to another word in a sentence. Here are some examples of catafora. In the following examples, catafora are in italics and their reference are in bold. Why do we envy him, the bankrupt man? A few weeks before he died, my father gave me an old seeker box filled with faded letters. Those are just some examples of catafora. In anaphora, the name comes first after the pronoun, and in catafora, the pronoun comes first after the name. Chiasmus is a hierarchical device in which two or more classes are balanced against each other by the reversal of their structures in order to produce an artistic effect. Here are some examples of chiasmus. It is not the oath that makes us believe the man, but the man of the oath. Here are the examples of chiasmus in literature category. But oh, what damn minute tells he, O oh, er, who doubts yet doubts, suspect yet strongly loves. This sentence brings two ideas together which have a similar meaning and contrast them with in the same statement. Climax is the highest point of tension or drama in a narrative's plot. Often climax is also when the main problem of the story is faced and solved by the main character or protagonist. Here is the example of climax where the conflict is a character and her mother are upset with each other. The main character believes she must be an artist where her mother does not support her career and would rather be an actor. Climax is where the character and her mother have a large argument in which they both state their feelings at this argument they agree to love one another despite their agreements climax is the most intense exciting or important point of a poem or a movie dysphemism dysphemism is the use of a harsh word or more offensive word instead of one considered less harsh dysphemism is often contrasted with euphemism dysphemisms are generally used to shock or offend these are the examples for this feminism. Snail mail for post mail, cancer stick in reference to a cigarette, egghead for genius, worm food for death, pig for policeman, dead tree for the paper version of publication that can be found online. For me, this feminism is more like a slang offensive word nowadays that most teens use in social media to bash someone. So that's all for today. Thank you for listening to my discussion and hope you stay safe. Have a good day and God bless.